Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 351. I am Neil. I am Annalise. Hi, Annalise. How are you? Fabulous. Good. <laughs> yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I feel weird. Yes. What is, uh, uh, what is going on with you? Um, I got my booster shot yesterday, mm-hmm. and overall, I feel okay. You know, like I have a headache that Advil's mostly working on, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of tired. Right. And a little achy, but not too bad. But I feel weird. I feel kind of not all there. I feel fuzzy, for lack of a better description. You've been, uh, well, we've been hanging. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> That's a weird way to st- We're not. We're just been hanging good out. good at this anymore. <laughs> uh, would you like to tell, tell everybody what kind of podcast we are or what we do or who the hell we are? <laughs> We are a couple that uh, lives in California, and we uh, podcast about our lives, ourselves, and all of that really cool shit. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I do want to say at the top of the show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Yeah, I, I was surprised. I know we're probably still in a lot of people people's feeds. Right. And it just probably popped up because they didn't delete the show after we didn't send a show out for many, many months. But I was very surprised it that there's still... Nice of, nice of people to stay subscribed. Still a few helpful. hundred people listening. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It was really nice of all the people who reached out to say, hey, and welcome nice, nice back. to... Welcome Yeah, exactly. Welcome back. And nice to see a podcast from you. So um, that was really nice. So I think that I thanked you all individually, but if I didn't, I apologize. And I tried really hard to do that. So thank you for taking the time to not only listen, but to reach out and say... Hey. It was um, very cool. Yeah. I was very surprised that we had that many people that were still... And like I said, I know a lot of it was just people just didn't get rid of us Unsubscribe. Yet. Right. Yeah. But it it was it felt very good. It was really nice. So yeah. thank you to everybody. Yeah. Um, I was, as we've talked about before, the inconsistency is like the death of a podcast. Mm-hmm. And so um, we were a little concerned about that, but... But again, we don't necessarily do it for all the listens, so you know. Well, yeah, but and, but it's still like if you if like there's only two people listening, then we can just record ourselves and play it back to ourselves. I suppose <laughs> we we say we don't, but I have a feeling that if nobody listened, we probably wouldn't do it. Because I, I agree, if it, if it, if we went below like a certain number, I think that we would just kind of not do it. What, What's yeah. the, it's because as we've discussed before, it's the time consuming. I like to hobby, say so. I like to say it's not important, but it is. Of, of course, yeah. It's like so, when and every podcaster starts like. They always say, like, oh, ten, don't check the numbers. Just do it for yourself. But everybody's totally obsessed with checking the numbers, especially yeah. at first. I mean, I think they get over it after a while. But, but but did really want to say thank you. Also wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we talked a little bit about it before. It is Thanksgiving weekend. Interesting holiday around here. But <laughs> also, uh, we didn't say it last week, so I'll say it this week, that it is a difficult time for a lot of people um, because of, you, you know, Thanksgiving has a lot to do with usually family and getting together and some people have a hard time and it's not the greatest time of the year for a lot of people for many different reasons. And if you're somebody who finds yourself in a difficult situation or hurting, by all means, uh, do reach out. We have said for many years, you can always reach out to us. We've actually had people reach out to us, which was very cool. Um, But there is, you know, there are people out there that can help and that do care. So it's a weird time. Um, just know that that there is there. Yeah, reach out. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> moving on from that. Now that you've reached out and everybody's doing great. Um, <laughs> now that everybody's great. Okay. Right. What is going on? I don't. I, you've. Uh, I don't know, man. Well, thanks. You're oh, freaking me out. <laughs> can't help it. I don't know. It's, I. If I could control it better, I would. Mm-hmm. I was just sitting on the couch trying to, you know, be chill. So yes, <laughs> uh, trying to chillax it out, watching you, some obs- Hallmark movies and whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's great. You started talking about naily toes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, our dog nine is a kicker, and she sleeps between us, and she likes to kick. And she kicked me in the arm last night with her little no, that's not, toenails. No, that's not. That's not the thing. That's totally normal. Right. The and fact is that big bruise on my arm. <laughs> the, you referred to her toenails. Yeah. <laughs> as naily toes. I couldn't quite form the thought. <laughs> so you had your booster shot. Yeah. For uh, the uh, the covids. The, right. <laughs> uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. Black Friday. Yes. Oh, Exciting. And 
you seemed very you seemed all right last night. See, you seemed I, okay this morning. I was fine last night. I was really tired when we went to bed. But I just thought maybe you know we've been getting up early, so I just thought maybe that was it. But um, I was a little more out of it, and I had a headache when I got up this morning. Actually, I uh, took Advil in the middle of the night, so it wasn't super great in the middle of the night. But yeah, I mean, you know, I just, I didn't, uh, and again, I don't feel terrible. It's just, I'm a little off and, you know, had to take some Advil and I just don't feel quite right. Well, yeah, you're not, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're not, no, you're not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the name of the show. <laughs> uh, but that's not, you know, necessarily not normal either. So it's just, I, I can usually at least form thoughts and words a little better, usually. <laughs> and I've only had half of a cocktail, so that's not it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's been, uh, it's been interesting. The last, the last <laughs> like 35 minutes mm. has been, water has been flying. <laughs> Ice cubes are falling. Right. I accidentally flicked you with water. It's well. I think I frazzled myself because I like w- in my head was like kind of trying to hurry, although I didn't need to hurry. No. But I just that's just you know something you put on yourself. Like okay, it's time to record, and I was trying to get all my shit together, and then I couldn't process it in time. I couldn't process everything that was happening. It's enjoyable <laughs> to watch. I can say that. <laughs> is it though? It is. Yeah, I just flung you with water in the kitchen. That's all right. It, well, you are also. Um, talking about something and then you walked away so I couldn't hear what you were talking about you came back you couldn't remember what you talked about I remembered what you talked about and then you told me it wasn't that important when it was your conversation yeah. it wasn't really important it w- <laughs> I bet you still can't remember what we were talking about um, we're talking about doing video and me not having to brush my hair oh very nice <laughs> that's good so you know mm-hmm. um, I do want to talk about uh, Thanksgiving weekend Let's do it. Our weekend, because Thanksgiving is actually not on a weekend, so I guess that's, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, I had a really good time, and the food was really good, and thank you very much, and you pretty much have turkey dinner totally dialed in, and I do love a turkey dinner, and I even more so probably love the leftovers, so it's been delightful. <laughs> yeah. It, it's been nice, as we talked about on last the last episode, mm-hmm. not well. Never mind. As we talked about this year, it's just you and I. <clears throat> <laughs> what the hell was that? I was trying to. The mic is so sensitive now because of the new port. But but, I, but, but what I had was to, this whole? I, know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I'm doing my best. You're you're doing well. <laughs> Uh, we we talked about how we're alone this year. We're mm-hmm. not. We didn't go see family. And then particularly, not particularly, but with you getting your booster shot yesterday, we didn't know how we'd feel for the rest of the weekend, so we didn't want to make plans. Right. And I really, as I said last week, I don't really want to make plans anyway, so it's the perfect reason. (laughs) It's been so great. (laughs) So we did spend, but we did everything like we normally do, and if we did have people over or if we were going, so we had like the full Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And then we decorated the house for Christmas, of mm-hmm. which we really like to do. Uh, and the food, everything turned out really, really well. We did forget. We made a lot to of eat the green bean casserole. <laughs> we left it in the oven. And I messed up on the rolls. Right. So, but that just means the next day Bread we rolls. got green bean casserole as mm-hmm. a surprise. Surprise, green we, bean we casserole. Cooked, we cooked the green bean casserole, <laughs> but and then we left it in the oven to stay warm. To stay warm. And forgot then we ate it. everything else. We were just and totally in forgot such about a it. hurry that we didn't, you know. And we were lying in bed, and then all of a sudden I was like, "Damn it!" Hold on, green bean casserole. <laughs> and you got up, and it was still in the oven. It was still in the oven. <laughs> and we, so we had it last night for leftovers. We'll have it tonight, but it's it was great. It, excellent. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah, it was. It was fun. It was. A I'm good... so happy. I remembered though, because I would have hate to have left it in the oven and it. I've sat overnight, and it we couldn't have eaten it after that. You know, like it sat out for like. 12 hours or something and probably shouldn't eat it. So I, I can't imagine that that cream of mushroom soup by Campbell's is you do, is right. healthy enough that it would actually go bad. It's That stuff's got to be but all plastic. Isn't there milk in it, though? Is there? I don't think so. Right. Is there? Really? Yeah. yeah. No. no, I think there is. I so. don't think there is. <laughs> I think there's like... I mean, it's probably fine, but... It can't you know. not be. 
<laughs> Everything's so processed. How could it not be totally fine? It's, I mean, come on. <laughs> we could probably leave it out till next Thanksgiving. It would taste the same. I don't know about that. Probably microwave it, and microwave waves would kill all the germs. The microwaves. <laughs> microwaves. Yeah. But it was it was fun, and we decorated. We got the house all decorated. Mm-hmm. And we have Christmas uh, stuff up. <laughs> Decorations. Well, let me ask, let me ask you this. Oh. What when you when it's Christmas or it's Halloween or it's some holiday where people a lot of people decorate their house and when people don't, do you find it like oh that's kind of a bummer or because we don't decorate for Halloween because right. I think that's just insane. Um, we can't decorate for all the holidays. <laughs> I mean, let's get real. <laughs> which is funny because everyone thinks I would much rather decorate for Halloween right. than Christmas. But I was I I don't think much about it. But I know. Like some people are like, oh, our neighbors don't even decorate for Christmas. And it's like, well, so what? We don't decorate for Halloween. So, yeah. You know, yeah. do you find it odd? Do you? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that I find it more odd that. Um, how, well, do I, how do I phrase it? I'm, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to go silent on you. Like, um, I think that the over the top decorations are more odd to me than no decorations. Well, aren't we a little over the top? We are, we are right in that line pretty good. We are right in the top line. <laughs> we are right. Are you saying right in the top line or writing? The writing. Top? We're writing the top line. Yeah. Okay. We're I'd not, like, I'd like we're a not little over more. the top. We're All just, right, we're, but, but we're, we're, we're the inching up toward the, toward the top of mm-hmm. like, what uh, would be acceptable before we would be considered overboard. <laughs> okay. But um, I also like to think, and of course we all like to think this of ourselves, but I'd like to think we do it in a quote fingers tasteful way. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know about that what either. Is, okay. So what, what is would tasteful? Be not, exactly. Yeah, I don't so know. What, ta- what is tasteful to you? I don't uh-huh. know. But it's again, it's what is tasteful to you and your personal aesthetic. So what speaks to me and my personal Christmas decorating flavor? So what do you think is not tasteful? Um, I, I think when you can't actually like see the lawn and then like, maybe it, like you can see it from space, Sure, <laughs> that's a little over the top for me. Um, I like the idea of your lights synced to music, but I also kind of feel like maybe that's a little too much for your neighbors. Mm. Like, cause what, you're basically so strobe you think, lighting your neighbors. Do you think when you have like the outside music thingy that plays? That's a little the, too much for me. That's a little too much. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, new neighbors, which, which are great. They're great new neighbors. So I'm not saying anything bad. Um, but, uh, they you just picked them up. The uh, yeah, I know, right. Hi. Um, so, but they, they're decorators. They decorated for Halloween and they decorated for Christmas already. And that's cool. Like they, you know, they're into it mm-hmm. and that's great. But they had one, um, Halloween decoration that is a motion sensor and it talks to you and it says something and it would scare the shit out of me all the time. <laughs> And it is is fairly sensitive, and so like I would um, get out of my car, and then I I would hear it go off, like you know, over at their house, and I was and I was like, what the, you know? And then sometimes in the morning we'd set it off and we walk the dogs and things like that. So I thought that was kind of funny. And again, I don't think it's not really over the top. That's totally because it's not on like all the time or anything. But I'm just noting it because it actually like startled me a few times. <laughs> Because, you know, you're in the dark and walking the dogs, all of a sudden there's talking, and you're like, what the? I oftentimes wonder if people think we're crazy and over the top since we don't have kids, but we decorate for Christmas like we do. So I was going to uh, say something about that in particular. I actually have it written down that um, I noticed it the last couple of years in particular is maybe because the little boy next door is getting old enough to notice and talk and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's probably like five or six, so old enough. Yeah, obviously. But... He is super into our Christmas decorations, yes. and he was super into it last year, and he's super into it this year, like to the point where he, he came really out likes and the like cow too, yeah, <laughs> like he we could, have a Christmas cow, yeah. <laughs> See, we're over the top. If you have a Christmas cow, <laughs> do you though? Is it though? Yeah. <laughs> um, he actually like, uh, came up on the lawn and was like pointing at the cow, and we were like, "It's okay, you can take a look or whatever." And then uh, when we were decorating this year. He came out and like watched for a little while, not very long, but for a little while. And he was talking, yeah, he was talking to his grandpa and like whispering and like pointing at things. And his grandpa was like, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and I kind of felt like I almost wanted to tell him like he could help, but then I didn't, it's a little like, that's a safety hazard, you know, like you can't have the little boy from next door come over and help you. But 
maybe when he's older. <laughs> but I thought it'd be cool to like let him put out a couple of deer or something or decorate a deer or something. I was thinking the same thing, but I always wonder like what's because I don't want to make acceptable? anybody feel obligated <laughs> right. to do it. Right. I don't want him to feel uncomfortable. Like He's he a little has shy to do it. Yeah. And then if he puts it somewhere we absolutely can't stand it and we move it, will that bump well, him out yeah. when he's like, oh, I put the deer, you know, so if, right. if it's like, oh. That's true. If you let him like decorate some stuff, you have to leave it out there. You can't. Yeah. Like everything else in my life, I like to keep everybody at a, distance. At a good distance. <laughs> I mean, watch what I'm doing. Be part of my life in some right. way, but let's not, um, so- let's not actually like <laughs> matter to each other. Well, we don't have to be that close. I mean, right? You know, and you're, you know, you're. Uh, what did what you were saying? You were writing the top line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm writing the top line. <laughs> yes, of of you know, no, no, but I, I think it would be fun. But I really, the I don't ask. Like I said, is mainly because I I don't want to make him feel obligated, right, or, or uncomfortable, or the grandfa- or, you know, like. Right. I don't know. It just seems like, a little weird. We're we're friendly with them, but like, do you I guess let we the could little ask? We right. could say, "Would you like to help?" Right. And then he can, you know. But that involves, yeah. Like in my caring. in my head, I was like wishing we had like a, a deer I hadn't finished, and he could have put it together or something like that. But but again, I don't even know him that well. I just he was just so into like watching us do it that I almost felt bad that. You know, like he didn't have anything to do. Yeah. But uh, um, so I was going to say, if you asked if you noticed yesterday that um, the family that lives a couple houses down with the two little boys, mm-hmm. they were, they've were they been riding their bikes mm-hmm. um, a lot up and down the block a lot lately. And um, yesterday for a long time, they rode just in like circles right in front of our house for like a solid like half hour at least. And um, they kept looking and their mom was there. And uh, they kept talking about her decorations and like pointing, but they're riding their bikes. So it didn't look like they were like staring at the house mm-hmm. or whatever, but, but you could totally tell that they were like, hey, look at that. You know, and- well, I think we were, <clears throat> we were one of the first, because we usually we decorate the day after Thanksgiving, but yeah. this year, since we were alone and we were just hanging out, we decided we'll freaking decorate on Thanksgiving. Yeah. It went really fast this year too. Yeah. We got everything up pretty quick. We got a new polar bear. Woohoo. He's waiting. a very friendly polar bear. A very friendly polar bear. <clears throat> so I, I do think it's probably exciting for yeah the, the kids in the neighborhood right. to see the the first house. But not only is it cute that they're into it, but I thought it was cute that they were totally staring and trying to look, but like n- pretending to not, like by just riding their bikes in circles, like just mm-hmm. in front of our house. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, as kids, like I don't. Would they be embarrassed to stop and say I wouldn't? Like when I was a kid and. In the neighborhood where I grew up, like if there was a house that we wanted to stop and look, we just get off our bikes and look. Yeah. I think it was probably a little bit of their mom not being, being embarrassed. There. I think it was more like, oh, there's we're just riding around here because this is fun to look at. Right, maybe so. But also, like as a parent, you, sometimes I would think you would be like, stop staring and pointing those people's houses. <laughs> like, just you know, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> anyway, I think it's really cool, and I think that it's cute that the neighborhood kids are into it. So that's all. Um, I have to pee really, really. I don't okay. know if it badly is the word. <laughs> so, but since we're not live, should we just stop and start again when I'm I'm done peeing? Yeah, you can just hit pause and then pee and then come back, right? I think so. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. What? What? Sorry about that. I uh, I had to pee. <laughs> I think part of it is uh, because I, uh, which is funny because for the people that were are listening, there's no break right in that time. I think part of it was because I drank a lot while I was on the stationary bike. Right. And then all of a sudden it hit me like, I gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> Which uh, reminds me or brings up a point that uh, my freaking watch is buzzing that I wanted to bring up. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't. Now, I think you're freaking. I'm rubbing off on you? Uh, yes. My weirdness is rubbing oh off my God. on you. <laughs> so uh, I ride the stationary bike. I, I ride it quite a bit now, mainly. Uh, I mean, it is a nice workout, but mainly to keep my legs about me for riding the mountain bike. Mm-hmm. And I've been I've been going back and forth. Like I, I I want a little more excitement at the at home riding, so I've been thinking about the Peloton, which I'm not thrilled about, but it seems kind of cool. But then the other thing is buying what like one of those uh, sim racing things, like bicycle sim racing 
things. It's oh, right. like for Zwift and stuff. I just don't know which way to go about it. Well, and is that like a whole new bike setup too, or just a, just an app? So uh, if you're going to do the, Zwi- the, the, that uh, sim style riding correctly, either you buy a bike and a trainer that you can put your bike on the trainer. And the cool thing about that is like, when you go uphill, the trainer makes it harder, so you have to change gears. And when you go downhill, it's easy. I mean, obviously, the bike doesn't change. Mm-hmm. I, you can buy something that makes the front end r- 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 raise and lower, but you don't really need that. Or you can buy a sim bike, kind of like a sim racer for, you know, like the iRacing stuff that mm-hmm. we talked about a lot. You can buy a sim bike that's almost the same thing. It's like on a stand, and you can change your... The cool thing about the sim bike, it gets freaking insane because you can change your gearing and every like you can say i want it to be a mountain bike with this kind of gearing i want it to be a road bike and then you have the app where you plug in and watch the video and go i think the sim thing would be more fun but i mean i'm just having fun on the or not having fun but continuing continuing to train just on our little uh what is it called bike elect elip, uh, bike thing it's just a stationary, stationary bike. bike yeah but it's I keep going back and forth and it's like I can't make a decision. It's not about a super nice I, one. What it's I kind of do. old. Oh, it's but... very old and but it works really well. Yeah, uh, it was well, under two hundred bucks. That yeah, piece of and crap. I was gonna say that um, one of the deciding factors is not only the money that like something like a Peloton or a sim bike is, but it's also the fact that um, I also ride the stationary bike not as often as you obviously, but you know um, I don't. I'm well, not we as... wouldn't get rid of it. Well, that's, I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, do we have enough room to have two bikes? Or Because I don't want to ride your sim bike. So, Why not? You well, because it would be set up it. for you and the seat well, and everything. Because I, I don't like you the seat it. scenario could, and all that. You could figure it out. But I'm just saying that I don't know. You like a big cushy seat. I need a big cushy seat on my bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Otherwise bigger the uh... cushion, the sweeter the pushing. <laughs> that's what I've read. Or is it, is it start with the looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand, or so I have said. My what? baby fits me like a pink tuck, no. My baby fits me like a flesh tuxedo. Wow. I want to sink her with my pink torpedo. Big Who the bottom. hell sings Spinal that? Spinal tap. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> anyway, so it's it's just uh, so I'm curious of of those friends of ours that have either or listeners or people whatever, that consider bikes. themselves whatever that have either like a a sim bike or a Peloton they have a name or a pel- bike. Peloton bike and do right. the Peloton thing. We know or Margo do like does, the Zwift so and all of that. Talk to her about I'm it. I'm curious too. as to what she people loves think. her bike. Loves right. her, but she's like so the Peloton thing is is geared more to like fitness. Like right. it's more of a fitness style. Well, she's also a fitness instructor. So like a, you know. well, they're both for fitness, but right. the Peloton is more like a class. Like mm-hmm. you take classes where right. Zwift is more like you race and you go for a ride. Right. Like you can you, ride. I, I would assume you prefer to go for a ride. I'd love to go for a ride. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding right now. I'm just pedaling my ass around town. Mm. That's what I'm doing. Mm. But I also don't know. Now, the one thing about the, like the Z- sim thing is that you can buy a bike Mm -hmm. like you don't have to buy the full i racing style bike you can just buy a bike and take off the rear wheel and hook it up to this thing right so you can the guitar is freaking me out again um and so then i'd also have a road bike not that i ever go riding on the road but i could if i wanted to ride around track at work i guess i could right so anyway just something that was in my mind right i thought i'd talk too about it um yeah (laughs) <laughs> well, we're still, we're still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Right. Been thinking about it, still thinking about it. Thinking about it for a long time. Just yeah. going to keep on thinking. Well, now that we have the new shed and we can move the Christmas the stuff she out, shed. outside, um, we'll have more room. Mm-hmm. So We've got all the room in the world. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, Neil put up a shed in the backyard. <laughs> we extended our fence line to the end of the uh, house or whatever. And uh, or there, whatever. A, 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 a shed fits there, so... Pretty cool. There you go. I also wanted to ask you, uh, we talked a little bit again about this last week, but I wanted to ask you, how are you enjoying this year's Mm-mm. 
Hallmark and Lifetime movies. I'm very much enjoying it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about, I mean, because we know a lot of these were recorded during the COVID time. Crazy time. So things are a little bit different in the shows. It is very different. Obviously, the storylines don't change at all. Right. But Um, how are you feeling about, I mean, are you thinking they're, they're, are are you enjoying it? Do you think they're good? Are the stories good? I think they're good. Um, I also think that we have noticed Mm -hmm. that they were filmed during COVID times. I think you can can tell because there's not a lot of stuff going on in the background. There's a lot of just like two actors in a room talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Um, what, um, movie, movie makers like to uh, call the walk and talk. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of walking and talking scenes as opposed to not that there's a lot of action in Hallmark, but, but like there are certain, uh, movies that have like an ensemble cast and there's a lot less of that, I think. And you can also tell it the way that it's shot, that there's only ever like a couple, even though it might seem like there's people there, like at a party or something like that, you only ever see a couple of people talking to each other at a time. So you can tell that way. Sorry, but I was going to say overall, I'm very much enjoying it though. Turned into a snake. <laughs> I'm enjoying it though, and I have the good vibes about it. I'm curious as if, as if, mm-hmm. as if. I'm curious if it is different or we think it's different. Now, I know some of the earlier shows that we watched that came out like right after Halloween, it was weird because there were only like four people in the whole movie. Right. And as we're watching now, they seem a little more normal. So I'm wondering how much is actually different because of this recording or how much is we think it's different. Our perception Because life is just a little bit different. Um, Good question. I think we'd have to go back and watch an old old one to find out. But in general, they're not very high budget movies. So in general, they don't have a ton of background actors or a ton of actors in these movies. Yeah, not a lot of extras. So... Not a lot of talent. Oh, I mean, that's not what I mean. You a lot that. of uh, more people, a lot of more people are, uh, a, a lot, lot of, of more, more people. Wow, I can't, I'm trying so hard. Um, there's a lot more uh, bigger name actors like Reba McIntyre, <laughs> the but country she's singer. Done, I thought she did a couple. I don't know if she's on a Hallmark Well, one. hey, listen, if uh, Dolly Parton. Right. But she was not in it very long. Like she's Doesn't barely matter. in it. If you're in but, it at all. <clears throat> um, but like um, the one I was just mentioning, that guy who plays Dracula has one coming out this year. I'm like, Keanu Reeves. I was like, holy shit. Oh, is, no, he didn't play Dracula. <laughs> was that, that's the guy that played Dracula. And he's doing one with uh, Lacey Chabert or whatever. And I'm like, they could have got her, got, got him a better co-host. But anyway. Um, co-host? Yeah. Co-star. Co-star. Thank you. I'm trying so hard, babe. You're working it. You're, you're in there. You got it. Um, but when I saw that, I was just like, no way. Like, So I don't know if they're like upping the budget or if people just realize, actors who aren't doing a lot of work right now during pandemic times, mm-hmm. realize that people love Hallmark and... Well, I definitely think if you haven't, if you haven't been working, and I don't think it's a money thing, because I don't right. think Hallmark... I mean, I'm sure they they pay their uh, on uh, what do you call it on their screen contract oh, right. actors right. fairly well. I, I I think it's just kind of a fun thing to do, right. and think, it's so I'm popular sure you're right. now that and it's as you, and as you say, like you come in and do like one or something, and that's cool, and mm-hmm. you had a good time. And again, people love Hallmark movies, so now you're on the in the Hallmark family, if you will. <laughs> 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 anyway, I've been enjoying it. How do you feel about it? What, what's your vibe? Well, I've been enjoying it a ton because this is the first time in, what, two or three years where there was no stress to watching it. So I've been just having fun because I don't have to – I don't feel like I have to pay attention as much. So it's fun to just watch <laughs> – to just watch it. No, because before – In a good be like, way. In a good yeah, way. Like, yeah, you don't have to, like, stop and take notes. Like, I mean, I've actually paused a movie before because I wanted to write something down, which kind of takes you out of it, I think. Yeah, this has just so. been – you know, and the good thing Us hanging out. too is yeah. if if like I'm not totally focused mm-hmm. on it, I don't feel bad asking like, "Hey, who's this person? What's right. this person doing in here?" If you have to get um, to go to the bathroom, you're not missing some subtle nuance of the storyline or something. Yeah, like, yeah. And you can so, ta- you can ask me a question if you want to. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty much you know, there's like four or five different movies that they just right. keep. It's true. Rehashing. It's true. Well, we were um, talking about the other night where I was like, "Oh, this is a." It's a Wonderful Life version. And you're like, what? I'm like, you know, like, it's like there's a, there's either the Scrooge, it's a Wonderful Life, it's the Bad Boyfriend, or it's the whatever, whatever. You I kind of wish but, they'd do like a new version of Rudolph. <laughs> 
Um, well, they do I like mean, you can do it with, they, with and they humans. always do a Santa one, a you Secret could, Santa, yeah. and you know stuff like that. Because so. you could do it with humans. Right. It's just like it's stormy out, and somebody's got like this big lifted red truck. Yeah, <laughs> totally. You know. That's not bad. You should, see, you could be doing this. You could be writing this stuff. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. I think getting into the group where you could, you know, right now. Okay, hold on. It's not that hard. It is still very difficult. No, it is. And it I takes was a lot just, of talent we're just to joking write around. from yeah, beginning to, to, to end. To cohesive story from beginning yeah. to end is actually quite difficult to do. And then obviously getting that uh, Listen, made. we can't even get a podcast with a cohesive story to beginning That's to end. Absolutely so we'll say true, so. it's not hard, but obvi- we probably right. couldn't do right. it. Absolutely. I could come up with a couple good ideas. We're the idea, we're the idea people. <laughs> We got some ideas for you, but no, I, I've been I've been enjoying it. I think the movies have been have been fun. I was going to actually ask you what is your favorite so far, but oh, my head's God. too fuzzy. I don't, term, I, don't I, I was trying to think about that so I could have an, a, an answer when mm-hmm. I asked you, and then I was like, the one that, I the am one not that even is, sure we're having for dinner, even though we're that, having leftovers. Right. So. The one that is stuck in my head, which I really enjoyed, was the one where. Because I don't think there was, because I'm not a fan of like the big misunderstanding. Right, you hate the misunderstanding, um, and you do, you hate the jerk boyfriend. I hate, yeah. Well, they don't really do that. They're not at doing all that. Anymore. They don't. Right. They don't. Um, was the one where um, the person, I, I believe it was a woman, went well, a bunch of people, but I believe uh, she was sent to a photography retreat before she was going to get this promotion at her right. job. Right. Yeah, we just watched. That and one, then there yeah. was the guy who was doing it for fun. And there was really no big... right, and they're both photographers. He was a wildlife photographer, and she's a fashion photographer. And yeah. then there were their the, the friends, friends who wanted to the uh, couple that wanted they wanted to, to propose other. to yeah. each other. And need right, I forget so what that's called. That yeah. one was kind of fun because it, it was, was also different. Yeah, a different storyline. Different. So yeah, so I like that one. I don't know the name of it. I think it was called uh, "Capture This Christmas" or something. Yeah, developing in in <laughs> in the holidays or something like that. Scene of the crime. No, wait, no. <laughs> I'm, just, oh, I'm just trying to think of like photography, fun, fun titles. That's all. Sorry. Photography, fun titles. Uh, yeah. Scene of the I crime. Can't, I can't. Yeah. That's actually a bookstore. Oh, yeah. That's actually it, a crime bookstore. Sorry. Yeah. Um, anyway, so been wouldn't really. Be like, wouldn't be like overexposed <laughs> at the crime? <laughs> oh, no. It's That's a sexy times crime bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm-hmm. an erotic bookstore mm-hmm. <laughs> overexposed um but i'm really enjoying it and uh i've only there's only been a couple that we haven't recorded that i watched on my own sorry again about that that's fine <laughs> um but yeah so i've been having a good time with it and i um i think i mentioned all the feels last time but i haven't started my all the feels podcast yet where they have a bracket so I wanted to get enough. So, so what you're doing is now this is the second podcast in a row where you're saying you're still not listening to the podcast yeah. you said you didn't listen to last week. Shoot. Yeah. Going to listen. They're one of my favorites. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, they're, I'm, they're I'm, so much a favorite that yeah. now we know it's been at least three weeks that you haven't listened to. Shh. Mm-hmm. Don't tell them. No oh. one tell them. <laughs> I think they know because normally I tweet at them a lot. So and I haven't. So they probably already know. I'll get there. <laughs> oh, It'll be right. good. Sound. I've just been listening to books lately, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what else? Uh, what else you got? I feel like I've been. You haven't been talking. Your, I only have a couple more things. Face. Oh, you we have, got, pl- you have I got a lot. Plenty. Oh, you got a lot no, more stuff. Lot. You go ahead. I just didn't want to. No, no, no. I, no. I, but no. It, I'm fuzzy. I can't do all the talking, obviously. Uh, when we were talking about the big red trucks, it made me think of, and we had talked a little bit about electric vehicles, and I, I. I do believe that before we stopped podcasting for a while, we did say how we were upgrading the electrical in our house, mm-hmm. and we were putting in uh, plugs in the garage for electric vehicles, and we were thinking about going electric with the vehicles, mm-hmm. uh, for at least for our commute vehicles. We, uh, we are fortunate to where we can have our commute vehicles and then have like a fun weekend drive around whatever vehicle. And um, so we did. We we bought an, we bought a Tesla Model Three a while ago, which I've been using as my commute vehicle, which is actually right. your vehicle. <laughs> you got rid of the truck. I think we, we sold truck to your dad. I, I thought that we talked, about, talked that. about that. That you sold your truck, your new truck, to your dad, who uh, needed a truck. Right? right. Does he need a truck? Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Needs and wants. Uh. Hey, Quattro. Hey, hi, and so, so this this uh. 
vehicle is actually your vehicle of whenever uh, you decide that you want to start driving it. Mm-hmm. But I've been driving it. But here, here's my whole point about that. Oh, and it's been amazing. Well, we'll talk about the car whenever we want to talk about the car. But here's the thing I don't understand. Like, I've been, oh, Quattro, you can't eat the microphone, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Puppy Quattro's um, here. <clears throat> Obviously. This is the thing I don't understand. Like, I, I see these articles and stuff about, like, uh, trucks and, and regular gas-powered vehicle, like, blocking, uh, like, where you plug in, like, superchargers and where you plug in for your electric vehicle. Oh, is that a thing? Apparently it is. So, like, some jerk with a big truck, like, is blocking but the electric to, to be a jerk? I don't understand. I'm missing part of this story because I don't get it because... Well, like, we didn't buy an electric vehicle because we want all gas vehicles to go away. Obviously, I'm a huge racing fan. I'm a NASCAR fan. Well, that, and, and you fan. just make a call and you get that guy towed in like 15 minutes. Well, so, like, what purpose but whatever, is that serving? But I don't understand, <laughs> like, what is there, are there people with gas powered vehicles that are mad at electric vehicle owners because they're they, a different way of think, propelling the car well, forward? Honestly, that probably. I don't, but I don't get like what I'm missing something about this argument. And I right. want to know, like, I couldn't imagine a bunch of electric vehicles pulling up to a gas station and blocking the entrances so people couldn't get gas. Right. Now, judging by the people I have seen who own electric vehicles, uh, maybe I would think those are people that would do something like that because. <laughs> As we said before we bought our Tesla, we didn't want to buy a Tesla because it seemed like a lot of Tesla owners were jackasses. And then we decided either we're jackasses, which is very much possibly and probably the case, or (laughs) it's just a cool vehicle. And, you know, I just have a feeling like the Tesla is the Porsche of today. Like the Porsche of, yeah. Like, you know, it was all jackholes that owned Porsche. Okay. How about you, you just focus on us and don't worry about the puppy right now i was just gonna give him a little hug and kiss but i can't because i have that microphone stuck to my face right (laughs) so i don't know how much of you you were actually listening to me i was totally listening to you oh absolutely 100 percent. i was okay tesla the porsche of the 80s (laughs) the porsche of the 80s okay (laughs) the porsche of the 80s wait can you reverse that yes you know what i mean the 80s the tesla of the porsche yeah but I don't under like I want so if, if somebody can give me an article or point me in the direction <laughs> right. I don't understand if you know or if you've seen it happen I don't understand what this whole thing right. is about like I I don't like who the hell cares it just sounds like people trying to be jerks and but why but That's like why other, why do you care what someone else drives I don't know I don't know if this is like this goes back <laughs> to like that whole people that like in these big arguments about like. Ford versus Chevy versus yeah, Dodge. Yeah, I don't care about that either. So, so I'm just, I'm wondering if now it's just a gas versus electric thing, but I don't understand it. Like, well, and gas is never really gonna go away. I think it's just gonna get more and more expensive, so that you can only like do your weekend car as well, a gas car and things like that. It may go but, away. Who knows? I mean, who the hell knows what life has to bring? I mean, if if right. oil from the world gets totally depleted. Right. You know, I, I don't know, but it's, but our, I, I just don't understand like yeah. right now. I agree. I don't understand. I didn't know that was a thing until you told me. So. Yeah. It's every now and then I see articles where it's like, so somebody in a, in a truck with a trailer blocks like 14 electric charging. And I'm thinking, you, you do know that electricity is available at other places. There are, I, I, I don't. It's insane to me, so I don't, right. I don't quite understand. So I just... Yeah, I, I didn't know. Yeah, it's crazy. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. Uh, but, but we... So we did get a, an electric vehicle, and I will say this. They are fun. <laughs> I love how quiet it is. Yeah. And, and I know that uh, the Tesla, for the most part, is built very well, but it is a quiet car, and I really like that. It's That's, got some funky things. <clears throat> of course. Yeah. I, I think every car, I don't think there is a perfect car. There is something I don't like about like every car we've ever had. No, no, I don't mean about that you like or don't like. I mean, there are some build issues with right. Teslas. But in general, like I've had cars in the past, not currently. Um, like, um, do I do I say do I? You say car? it doesn't matter. Um, I've had a Ford Probe and also the Subaru Outback that we had are very loud 
cars, road noise no, and we didn't have air an noise. We had a we had a cross track, cross track, which me. was pretty much just a garbage can on wheels. Right. So as far as noise, <laughs> they're just very loud cars, and I did not like that. Like I didn't think that that was something that would bother me as much as it did. And um, just like we ended up getting rid of the cross track fairly quickly, I got rid of the Ford Probe that I had like within a year. I was like, I can't take this car. <laughs> I just can't do it. So um, so now that I know that that's something that I find annoying and that is important to me, now I look for a quieter car. <laughs> well, it's, I, I, and I think it's also kind of funny that um, this vehicle is like whenever you want to take it, you can mm-hmm. take it and you still don't want to take it. Right. Well, I'm still in love with my little Ford Fiesta mm-hmm. as well as um, there's, I think... You know, um, that's just a, a gut punch to the Subaru Crosstrek when you're like, <laughs> this thing was trash. I'd rather have my Ford Fiesta. Well, there were just things I didn't like about their Crosstrek. I don't necessarily think that it's trash. People no, love it. It's a good, you know? my, my sister has one. My mom Ninja has Ninja has one. Ninja has um, one. My mom has an there's Outback. An, there's another person at work who has one and they love it. So Yeah. Um, but I was just going to say that there's just things about it that didn't work for me. And one of them was like, the seat and so just weird things to me that didn't work for me or us so but yeah um i like the tesla it's a really cool car i'm a little scared to drive it there's a learning curve and i just need to take more time to do that but as i said i'm not necessarily in a hurry to take it over because i love my car so you know i'm just right i'm just chilling out and and you don't have to take it over till our our next car or i mean you don't yeah until right. our next car arrives. Right. I don't need to take it over right now. So I'm, yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm just, you know, driving the Fiesta until, until then. So yeah, we, uh, we decided because the electric thing actually, and financially has worked out really well because our commutes are so long. Right. And, and gas is so expensive right and now. And gas is so expensive right now. Um, that we decided to order a, a second one. Well, that was the plan all along that our commute vehicles were going to be electric vehicles right. at some point. It just makes more sense financially in the long run. So we ordered a Mustang Mach E, mm-hmm. of which that, as of now, it sounds like that vehicle will become my Probably. daily driver's, and the Tesla will will become your daily driver. However, for whatever reason, if we swap that up, we'll swap that up. But it 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 is interesting because we we ordered the must the Mach E. I don't want to call it. It's not a freaking Mustang. We ordered the Mach E, and I have like this weird like. Not buyer's remorse, but like but you're fear nervous about that we, it. You're nervous we should have just got another Tesla because the Tesla has been amazing. Not right. that it doesn't have some issues, um, but getting into the, yeah. you know. Well, it's also the, that known quantity that you, right. like, and now that you have it, you're comfortable with it. You like it. You know what to expect. And there's that, as you've pointed out already, there's um, so much more uh, charging stations and things. Available to Tesla. The, right, the, so. the, you know, the battery for the Teslas are more efficient. Right. The range is better in a Tesla. Right. But I do really like the look of the Mach-E, though. So yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, it's also one of those things, like, if we already have one, it's kind of fun to try something else, right. too. Like, um, I was going to say, do we want two of the same car? Coming from people who had two Fiestas for years. Right. So, so, so that would we're be We're not fine. opposed to that. No. <laughs> but it, it, it has been fun. The electric vehicles are, are a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I'm surprised at how much I enjoy driving the car. I am looking forward to not having to get gas anymore and oh. not having to go to gas stations. I'm glad you mentioned that because that has, that in itself. I, I really dislike that getting gas. That in itself. Gas. Dislike it quite Is a bit. amazing. Yeah. Not having to go to a gas station. Yeah. I mean, talk about pretentious first world problems. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's okay because guess what? I don't like it. Oh. And it's okay for me to not like it. I, I do it because I have to do it. It's but awesome. I don't like it. I don't like doing it. It's awesome. I don't like it there. <laughs> that and I, I don't will like that say place. <laughs> uh, that the autopilot thing, like mm-hmm. in traffic, man, you just you, you put your towel around that steering wheel. You don't even have to hold it. It's amazing. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I, I don't know. It kind of freaks me out. It might be slightly illegal. It might be illegal. But, yeah. uh, there, there's a trick for you EV drivers. Get yourself a towel. <laughs> just put it under the down at the about the six o'clock position of the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Just wrap it through like you're hanging a dish towel on the oven thing, and that weight makes the the car think the that sensor, your hands yeah. are on the wheel. They'll figure that out and they'll they'll fix that sensor or something. 
Now, I will say this. When I'm not playing video games or texting while autopilot is engaged, I'm very much watching the stop road. Stop it. Stop. You are like the safest driver I and know. I wouldn't say, I'm. well, oh, maybe that you know. You Well, that I know. You are yeah. a grandma. You and your dad are How are, are both... grandmas safe drivers? I don't think fair, grandmas fair are enough. safe driving. Fair enough. They are slow drivers. <laughs> but um, you are a very safe and slow driver, as is your father. So I don't know if that's where you get it. Yeah, I don't think he's as safe anymore. He's not safe he's very anymore. Jerky with the wheel. Yeah, and he's yeah. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, he's. I would jerking I, that wheel like I, there's no tomorrow. I would say he's not a safe driver. He's any jerking longer. that wheel like he's trying to make an extra twenty bucks on a Friday night so he can you know score a dime bag and then have ten bucks to go to Taco Bell afterwards. <laughs> ten you know bucks. What I'm so gross. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my story. I, okay, that's a good story. Oh, I wanted to ask you if you noticed, um, I think you and I talked about it today, but the reason I thought about it is because I've noticed it before leading into this whole weekend of Black Friday and shopping and everything, is that so many stores are like, not, I don't want to say empty, but there's like bare shelves in stores, which is something well, I've not, thing. Yeah. not really seen before. Even during the beginning of the pandemic, well, obviously during the beginning of the pandemic when we were short on toilet paper and paper towels and stuff, there was like the um, blank or empty display of toilet paper and paper towels, but, and you would go down just the paper aisle and see blank shelves there. But like um, in Home Depot and the grocery store, and there's a store I was in, um, is that, that's your work phone, I think. Yeah. Um, that um, I've noticed there's like, Empty shelves in all areas of the grocery store and just limited supply of pretty much everything. And it's just so weird. Like that it's well, it's, it's enough that it's noticeable in pretty much every store we go to. Well, let's let's I wanted to break this down now that you brought it up. Mm-hmm. So in Home Depot, the things that were gone were all the Christmas stuff. They people bought the displays of the Christmas stuff. Right. At the grocery store, and I, I don't know if you noticed this when you left, maybe not when we left. Um, and cause all the, sto- all the shelves of like the Thanksgiving stuff. Right. But I, did you see those crates of the cream of mushroom soup? So I think they had already started taking that stuff down off of the end caps. Mm. I don't think it all sold mm. out. I think they were clearing it all right. out. However, um, but here's a weird thing. We went in Target, there's freaking TVs up the wazoo. Right. So I don't exactly know. Right. And, and, but like, there's also, but there's been the, you know, there's not as much wood. So wood is really pricey and things like that. Oh, but, yeah. So, but the shelves. It, and, you know, and we didn't go in that section, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, the stores in general have, um, and I'm sure they're distrib- distributing, help me, distributing. Distributing, yeah, um, st- things around the store so the store looks full because you don't want empty shelves. It kind of looks bad, but but there's it, they just felt less full. Well, I also think like when the the person we talked to at Walmart was saying how everything <clears throat> because of the pandemic and because you don't want as many people in person and a lot of people still don't want to do in person, everything moved to online. Online, yeah. Um, so like, speaking of gifts or speaking of shopping, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't want to. I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, well, no, I, don't remember I mean, I totally saying. meant to cut you off, but right. I realized that I did, and probably I, I don't want to look bad, right? While the pot people are well, listening to the podcast, you go ahead and talk because now I don't remember what I was going to say. I apologize because I'm fuzzy. not really. I wanted to move on. Um, wow. Let's talk about your Christmas gift. Thoughts and feelings are important to me. Well, <laughs> they should be. You mean my vacuum. Yes. <laughs> Our vacuum. <laughs> Our vacuum. <laughs> Our vacuum. Our vacuum. So I we we I, um, we got you a Christmas gift this year, <laughs> and you got you. I let you decide if you wanted to wait to Christmas mm-hmm. till Christmas to open it, mm-hmm. or if you wanted it soon, right? Bef- as it and when it arrived. And you decided you wanted, you gave me some bullshit answer of why you wanted it earlier because I think really you just didn't want to wait till Christmas, which was fair enough. Right. Never and, do. And so we got Don't you, like waiting. We got you a new <laughs> Chromebook. Right. Of which people who have listened to the podcast for a long time know I am a huge fan of Chromebooks. Right. Just for internet email machines. They're great. Right. That's all not, I really do. Not running a so, lot of like, right. if you're not running, you know, like. Uh, Editing programs or yeah, things like that. Stuff yeah. Stuff like that. They're, it, they're freaking amazing. 
Um, but we also, I've been wanting a new vacuum for a while. Mm-hmm. And last year or two years ago, uh, I'm a big fan of the shark vacuum because I am, you know, as an idiot, I uh, subscribe to Consumer Reports and I believe everything that's written on there. <laughs> and so, I like to feel like someone's done the research. <laughs> probably not. So it got really high ratings and they were super marked down. It was last year, the year before, we didn't get it. And I was right. like, oh, we didn't get this got vacuum. It. Yeah. Damn vacuum. Anyway, this year again, marked down. Got it. We got the vacuum. You, I have not used it. You have used it. Right. You said it's great. But my whole thing was I wanted you to tell everybody that for Christmas. They got a vacuum. That I got you a vacuum. Right. Which is what we're going for. Um, what, hilarious. Um, the Christmas movie I was just watching before I, we paused to come in here. Mm-hmm. Um, they were talking about how her and the main character had broken up or whatever. And, uh, and he said, just for example, like, what did your now ex-fiance get you last year for Christmas? And she's like, a toaster. And, she's, and he's like, see? And then she's like, what do you mean? And she's like, he got you a toaster. Yeah, but if I got you that toaster that, <laughs> that we have now. That's an amazing toaster. Okay, yeah. See? So it kind of depends on the But I just thought people. it was funny that, yeah. like, there's that, you know. But we always get... Um, what do I want for Christmas? Oh, I don't know. I want the same thing every year. Oh, I don't know. Really? N- nothing. I'm fuzzy. Nothing. Oh, you, yeah, you don't want gifts ever. No. Which is why, see, that's a trick question. No, it's, oh, someone at the door? Oh, it might be our Amazon order. Um, so, but um, we get like, uh, like for lack of a better description, our house or our family a gift every year. Like yeah, we one get, year we got couches and one year we got like a TV. Because we're, and, I mean, again, we don't have kids and, and one of the... Uh, but we also don't, I mean... We're, we're in a position, which is very fortunate, but through a lot of hard work also, that when we want stuff, we just get it. Right. I mean, but we're not, so it's not crazy. I mean, no. it's not like we have, the, I, we don't have like the nicest couch ever. We I don't like have the use, nicest everything ever. It, and we don't buy new everything every year. It's yeah, we're, just. We're doing okay. Don't worry about we're it. We're fine. Um, um, but I'm just saying that we buy, like we've had this uh, vacuum for a while and it's been needed, needing, help me, needing it, to be it, upgraded It could have been on sale anytime we would have bought it, but it was right. just fun. But now right. I want you to tell people that I got right. your vacuum. And I'm going to um, tell them how much I love it. Yes. Why they look horrified. Well, <laughs> yes. Especially your sister. I'm going to save that one for your sister. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to say, oh my God, I just totally lost my train of thought. And I'm it was sorry. good. Oh no. Uh, not about vacuums. About purchasing? About, about the Chromebook? Amazon. No, I, I lost it. I'm so it. sorry. That's okay. No big deal. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we did, we, oh, I think it was something about buying gifts. <clears throat> during the hall. Oh, that's what it was. Yes. My brain is almost back to normal. <laughs> I, uh, I use Christmas to buy you things that I want you to have. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. Which I love because right? that's what it is because you can't complain <laughs> about it. Birthday sometimes too. Oh, yeah. Any, any reason. Any gift giving occasion it's is like, an opportunity for you to buy me something that you I think want you should me have to a, have. Yeah, I think you should right. have a I've have been a fighting the Chromebook well, for a while. What day do we pick up the Tesla? On my birthday. On your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I had an old Windows laptop that if you're uh, old time listeners, old time, help me. That's fine. Long time. Long time. First, First time, time long caller. Time. <laughs> um, you know that uh, we hobbied together two laptops to we make. what? Hobbied together. Hobbied together. <laughs> hobbied, that's a word. Yeah. Um, together two laptops to make the one old laptop I've been using. Yes. Again, I only and use if, it for an internet remember, machine. So this was... Uh, I got a bunch of grief for breaking one laptop, even though I built two bro- out of two broken ones. I've got one good one. I still got in trouble for it. I thought only one was broken. No. Mm. Okay. Well, anyway, so uh, this uh, old Windows laptop has been limping along, and I do not care for the Windows laptops anyway. So it was time. Yes, it was and fun. it was one of those things that you could have any laptop. I said, get you an Apple laptop. We'll get right. you whatever you wanted. But I don't need the superpower. You know, I just need... And the Chromebooks are so fast. And so yeah. for what you do, I right. think it's the perfect beast. Right. I so. uh, do internet stuff. I do maybe an occasional Netflix, but Some that's about it. YouTube. I do a lot of YouTube. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but that's it. I mean, you know, surf the Amazons. That's about it. Yeah. There you go. Well, good. Well, I, I think on that note... Are we done? I think so. 
It looks like you have lots of things I have there, little though. things written down. Don't worry about it. All right. We'll talk. Well, happy Thanksgiving there, dear lady pants. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and thank you again for making the most delicious dinner ever that I get to have like 70 more times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe not 70, but we've already had it. Maybe six. Yeah. All right. As well, much as possible, anyway. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for checking us out. We appreciate it. Uh, you can always reach out to us at uh, darkangelsandprettyfreaks at gmail.com. Sure. We have a website, but I've got a... Right now, if you go to it, it goes somewhere else. No. Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks at gmail.com. Is that what I said? Yeah. Because it's Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks.com. It's a website, but right. it just goes. I don't know where it goes. It goes somewhere. Oh, it's not activated? Uh, it, it, Do no, you I've got to stop activate the activate button? Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to say? Um, I just really appreciate everybody listening, and thanks for uh, bearing with us while we were gone. Bye. Bye.